Welcome to Chrome On Air. I'm Lorena Crowley, a Product Marketing Manager for Chrome Browser for Enterprise. We're going to take the next few minutes to take a look back at 2019 and get a sneak peek at what's coming in 2020. Let's get started. As you know, Chrome runs on a six-week release cycle. That means we're delivering tons of new functionality to your enterprise, but it can be hard to keep up. We're going to walk through some of that today, but if you ever want to get a deeper dive, or check out what's coming soon or what's come out in recent releases, make sure you check out the URL on this slide. You'll find our release notes in detail and lots of great information so that you can make decisions in your enterprise. Chrome Browser Cloud Management was a great functionality that we released last year. If you have not gotten a chance to check it out yet, check out the URL on this screen to give it a try. It offers a unified place to manage your browser instances across Windows, Mac, and Linux, right in the same place where you manage your Chromebooks. You can easily enroll your browsers to get started. You'll get more visibility than ever before into the browser instances in your environment, including which policies are set, extensions are installed, and so much more. Because it's all managed from the cloud, you can easily delegate management to other members of your IT team. The Google admin needs an admin account, but your users don't. So you can just get started by enrolling your browsers today. Another area we focused on last year was improving our documentation. If you haven't taken a peek at our latest policy page, you should do so. It's now a single destination where you can easily find and search for all of the different policies available to you across Chrome browser and Chrome OS. It's easy to search by version, platform, and more. Password alert is another enhancement that was made last year. We initially introduced it to be managed through group policy, and later it made, became available through cloud management. The great thing about password alert is that it really helps your organization remove password reuse. A lot of enterprise employees tend to use their same credentials both for corporate and non-corporate sites. That puts them at risk, and it puts your enterprise credentials at risk too. Password alert is the way for you to control which sites the enterprise password can be used in. And if users try to use it in another place, they'll be notified to change their password. It's also a great way to protect them from phishing attacks. Legacy browser support is a favorite functionality in Chrome. It allows IT teams to designate which URLs they want to open in a legacy browser. This is great for those legacy web apps that some of your users still rely on. However, you can make sure they're spending most of their time in a more secure modern browser. This used to be available as an extension, but now it's built right into Chrome, so it's even easier for IT teams to manage and roll out. You can manage it through group policy or through the admin console. If you haven't looked at legacy browser support in a while, you should definitely check out some of the enhancements. The memory limit policy is another one that we've introduced recently. We've gotten feedback from customers that they really want to have better control of the amount of memory that Chrome uses in their environments. We now have a policy available through group policy that lets administrators set the high water limit that Chrome should use before tabs are discarded. Test it out, especially for memory-constrained machines that you might have in your environment. That's just a sampling of some of the new functionality that we introduced to you in 2019. But we're in 2020 now, so what's ahead? I'll give you a little taste of what we have in the works, but you'll start to find over the year that we'll be focusing in three core areas. One is around centralized management. We're going to keep enhancing Chrome browser cloud management so that you can do more from the cloud. We'll also continue supporting group policies, but really want to give you the most control and configuration that you can. Second, we're gonna be focusing on protecting your enterprise users better than ever before. We're really looking at different and new ways to introduce functionality that'll help protect your organization's data and your users. And lastly, around enabling the business, particularly your workforce. We'll make sure that the browser is an easier and more effective place for folks to get their work done. Update Controls is currently in Trusted Tester. Although you've been able to manage updates through your group policy for some time, it's now coming to cloud management. 
and even gives you an easier way to really configure how you want updates to be managed in your organization and the types of notifications and triggers you want to send to your users. The version report is coming soon to our trusted test program. It'll allow you to get a full view of the different versions of Chrome that are running in your environment today. This will give IT teams more visibility than they've had before around this. For Mac environments, we'll be introducing a PKG installer. This will be in addition to the DMG installer that's available today, but will offer an easier way for you to roll out and manage Chrome on Mac in your environment. As more enterprises have been using Chrome browser cloud management, they've also been interested in APIs. In Trusted Tester today, we have an API for exporting data. And in the future, we're going to start testing APIs for setting policies and managing browsers. I just shared a lot of items with you that are in Trusted Tester or coming soon. If you're interested in being part of our Trusted Tester program, you can sign up from the Chrome Enterprise Help Center. On this slide, we also have a bunch of other resources and places you can go to make sure you have the latest and greatest information about Chrome Browser for your enterprise. Chrome.com slash enterprise is a great destination for you to get all the downloads and tools that you need to manage Chrome in your enterprise environment. If you want to sign up for the newsletter while you're there, we'll send you tips, tricks, news, and updates to make sure that you're making the most of Chrome in your environment. And if you're looking for a deeper dive and really want to stay on top of what's coming out in each release, make sure you check out this URL on the slide so that you can sign up for the release notes. We'll be talking about these items and more at Next 2020. So if you're interested in getting a deeper dive, I hope you join us there. Thanks a lot for your time today. See you soon.